Bjorn. <laughs> <laughs> so as Kyle noted, I'm Bjorn Christensen. I uh, work for Harley Davidson. I'm a manager of vehicle dynamics and simulations. So we do ride handling stability development for motorcycles at Harley Davidson. And then in my spare time, I crew chief for Kyle Wyman. It's definitely a different job, but uh, the work that we do is related quite a bit. I mean, our entire work has revolved around figuring out how to make bikes handle right and how to make a ride right. And we're doing the same thing here, just at a higher level. All the people working on the race program are employees of Harley Davidson. And, and for some people, this is their main focus. For a lot of the people, it's just part of their job, you know, a second part of, of, a, of a day job. What's great about it is, you know, when we're working and we find something at the track and we want to figure out how to improve the bike and, you know, we learn something, we can bring that back to, you know, production type issues that we might not have. But, but even better yet, we can draw on the resources that we have at our development center to uh, really attack a problem or, or look for opportunities to improve the bike by utilizing all the, the background and knowledge of the experts in the various fields that have been developing you know, Harley-Davidson's for, for years. And uh, that, that really helps in that turnaround. Freeman Eagle is, is really the, you know, our performance side of our accessory business. For example, when we look at this bike and you look at, you know, the shocks that we put on this bike, we sell those shocks from this, through the Screaming Eagle brand as essentially those same fundamental bits that you go out and buy and put on, on, your, uh, on your motorcycle. Same with the powertrain, the 131. That swing arm, I mean, it's a beautiful piece and it's, it's done its function. I mean, that, that was designed for a specific purpose with specific specifications and then it happens to turn out looking really pretty because at least in my opinion, things that are engineered to be uh, perform a certain function are really pretty. And so that, that's kind of how that happened. It's just an organic, a really cool shape, but those, everything is there for a reason. You know, we're sure gonna be looking for tents. We're gonna be looking for every bit we can get as we go forward. But I think the reason we've gotten so far in this last year is, you know, last year was a pretty quick turnaround program. We put something together very, very quickly and went out and learned a lot. And we took all the things that we learned from last year and then really started up in the game um, for this year. And then and you got riders like Kyle and Travis, you know, pushing the bikes like they can and helping develop the bike and the feedback that they give that we can use. I mean, that's a big part in being able to just, to be able to be focused in the development that we're doing to really ratchet up where the bikes can go.